What's up guys, this is Sean from Sean Boxing. Today I'm going to review Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Court Purple. I think I heard the release news last year and was supposed to launch in March, but then it got pushed back to April because of the virus. It looks like brands are having some issues with manufacturing and shipping because of the virus impact on factories and distribution centers, etc. So if you wonder why your motherfucking weave or your fashion over motherfucking packages have arrived, guess what, bitch? <laughs> Coronavirus! Coronavirus! I'm telling you, shit is real! Shit is getting real! Woo! Bitch, I'm scared. I'm actually just grateful they can still release these shoes given this difficult situation across their supply chain. All right, enough about that. Let's talk about the shoes. On the box, it says cork purple slash black dash white. Style code is 555-088-500. And the size I have is a US 9. Retail price is at 170 US dollars and 199,000 Korean won. Notice how they upped the price a little bit. And here is Jordan 1 Retro High OG or purple. It looks kind of funny because the because the shoelaces are not tied. God, do I have to tie all these shoelaces now? Jesus. Thanks, Nike. I wonder how many bucks you saved not tying my shoelaces. One eternity later. There we go. A fun fact about these shoes is that they give you an extra pair of shoelaces. So this is the original shoelace they have on. And then this one is like, it's not entirely purple, but it's kind of like a tie-dye purple almost. Just so you guys can see and compare, I just used the different shoelaces for each side. I personally think the purple looks good, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. This is a really nice Jordan 1. I mean, I reviewed quite a lot of Jordan 1s um, recently, uh, but I think this one easily makes top 5. Easily. If you're a Jordan 1 collector, one of your goals could be to collect all 7 rainbow colors of Jordan 1s. But you have to keep that in mind, you know, the fact that they change the color blocking slightly every year. So, like a couple of years ago when they first released the Cord Purple um, Jordan 1s, they had the uh, purple right here and the black color blocking going around the toe box right here. So it's slightly different. Might look pretty similar from distance, but it is different. So please keep that in mind. Regardless of the rainbow collection thing, I think purple is a really attractive colorway. I, like, look at the sole here. It's so nice. I could even stare at this for like hours. Two hours later. Uh, the leather is quite impressive. I don't think it's like a different leather they use, but I think it's the color purple that gives this a whole different luxurious vibe to the shoes. I also like the Wings logo on the side. Last time I reviewed Jordan 1 High Pine Green, they used the patch and it wasn't really visible. My favorite part, aside from the colors, of course, is the tongue. At the tip of the tongue, we have this Nike Air logo play attached and it's in glossy leather, which adds to the quality of these shoes. I matched these shoes with plain black jogger pants you could even put on some light sweatpants if you like. Jordan 1s usually look really nice on the side, but I think this one looks kind of nice even from the back. These shoes are true to size, but if you have white feet, I recommend going half size up, which is normally what I do with most of my Jordan sneakers. Last but not least, added height on these shoes is at 2.72 centimeters. That's it for today's review. What do you guys think about these shoes? Please let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching and see you guys in my next video.